we've now laid out the system and we're ready to enter data. The first thing we should do is check the system data or enter it uh, and the system data, the flow units and the, the uh, head loss equation. Of course the flow units are correctly set to gallons per minute and the head loss equation is correctly set to Hayes and Williams. So we go back to the map and the next step is to enter data for each pipe link and for each node in the system. So we can click on the pipe link and the data boxes will appear over to the right and under pipe type we can select from that list, in this case this is 6 inch ductile, uh, we'll select the 6 inch ductile 250 rating and the roughness coefficient of 130 will be automatically set. Now there's no minor loss uh, elements in this particular pipe but in the next section here uh, we can set the pipe type at 4 inch PVC and the roughness of 140 will be set and we can also set an elbow in this particular line. So we'll add an elbow which with a loss coefficient of 0.75. Now we could add other elements such as a globe valve and it would add in the loss coefficient but in this case we only have the elbow. Uh, we'll go down to this pipe section same thing, 4 inch PVC, roughness of 140, and an elbow. In the last pipe section here, notice the lengths have been scaled. This is 141 feet. Pipe type here again is a 4 inch PVC. So now all the pipe data has been set. Uh, we could put a loss coefficient in here, for example, for the exit into the reservoir, uh, but we won't consider that. Now we need to enter data for each node. We can start with the reservoirs and we'll enter the, uh, the grade here. This grade is uh, uh, 300 feet and the elevation was 200 feet. And we can go to the second reservoir where the grade is at uh, 250 feet and, and the elevation, excuse me, and the elevation was at 210 feet. Now we can enter the data for the additional nodes, these two intermediate nodes and the junction nodes. Here the elevation is 210. Here the elevation is 200. And note, uh, a useful feature is that you can enter the data as long as you're entering the same parameter, the uh, uh, cursor will remain at the same location and so we can just series through this data entry. This is at 210 feet. Now we've entered the data for the system. Uh, it's useful to say turn on some of this information and check it uh, using labels. We can go on and turn on for example the node elevations and check each of these elevations. Uh, we can turn on different information for the pipes and uh, this is a good way to check your data before you proceed. Uh, the next video will uh, show us how to do some additional error checking and run the analysis and look at the results.